Fans of the Pittsburgh Pirates have long awaited for the chance to cross this Clemente Bridge in October to the beautiful ballpark that sits across the river that is known as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, to witness playoff baseball. This October they got their wish because there was something new in the city of Pittsburgh, not just that giant bath toy that sits at Point State Park. For the first time since Sid Breen beat out a throw from Barry Bonds in left field, sliding across home plate guaranteeing the Braves a spot in the World Series and sending the Pirates home, in the NLCS, the, city, the Pittsburgh Pirates had clinched a playoff spot. Fans rushed to the stadium in October for the first time ever, witnessing pirate bartenders serving them drinks, and a man playing the bongos. He looked like he should be getting ready for the game and playing in center field for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Record-breaking crowds rushed the gates, including some Reds fans sprinkled in. Fortunately, he'd go home with the loss as the Pirates won 6-2, moving on to the NLDS but that can be seen here in the champagne shower locker room scene. It's players like Andrew McCutcheon, who dazzled with his glove in center field as well as with his bat at the plate, the youthful and fast Starling Marte that was an injection of energy to this team that was sorely in need of it, and even overpaid, underachieving shortstops like Clint Barmas, who showed a little bit of gut, grit, and determination in helping this Pirates team finally get over a 20-year drought and turning an once empty stadium to a black hole of fans, all with their Jolly Rogers out, raising them high in the NLDS as Andy Van Slyke, a pirate legend, took the mound. And not soon after, Charlie Morton took the mound, hoping to deliver strikes of his own in front of the sold-out black hole of a crowd. Unfortunately, Morton's solid effort wasn't enough as the Pirates fell short and eventually were knocked out of the playoffs by the St. Louis Cardinals. However, you cannot chalk this, this great season up as a failure, for they reawoke a sleeping giant. The city of Pittsburgh was once again a baseball town, as it had been for Hannes Wagner, the original Pirate, who was winning pennants for the Pirates in the 1900s. Bill Mazeroski, who hit that famous World Series Game 7 walk-off home run to beat the hated New York Yankees. Pop Stargell, who took us to a World Series in 1979 and led the We Are Family generation of Pirates. And who could forget the most famous pirate and the best pirate ever, Roberto Clemente, who dazzled all with his bat and with his cannon arm from right field. PNC Park certainly hasn't seen its last playoff baseball in October, and it certainly won't go through another 21-year drought as it had previously. For this Pirates team is young and will only get better and should be back here next year, giving fans something to look forward to through the harsh winter that the Pittsburgh Pirates will be once again playing playoff baseball in October of 2014.